Hello again, Steve here, and today I wanted to make the comment that I believe taxation is a form of bullying of the virtuous by losers. Now, why would I say taxation is essentially for losers? Well, if we think about it, taxation is about whipping the productive. It's like if you had a bunch of dairy cows and you punish the ones that produce the most and you pamper those who produce the less. It wouldn't, at least it wouldn't make any sense, right? Except when you think about it that these cows don't have human farmers, they're sort of governing themselves. And those who are on the loser side are going to try to gang up on the productive and steal from them, right? That's what they're going to do. Because at the end of the day, losers don't want to admit that they're losers, but they know that they're losers. Now, I'm not getting into reasons why they are. Could be upbringing, propaganda, all sorts of stuff. But nevertheless, they know they can never measure up. So they have to figure out ways to steal from the productive. And these are some very intelligent and smart and cunning and professional losers, but nevertheless, that's what they are. They have to be. I mean, if they have to steal from others, that means in some ways they either know that they can't produce or it's just easier to steal. It's one of the two. But I would say it has something to do with the fact that they realize that they can never measure up. I'll get into a comment about one in particular person who I believe this is true about as an example. Now, losers, in my impression, when they know that they cannot measure up to the winners, they have to do something about this because it is human nature to want to have a leg up, or at least it's, it's the nature of the natural world, to want to get a leg up on others to have first chances for mating, to have first chances for resources, etc. Now, but if you can't compete with the winners, you have to find a way to tear them down. And one of the ways you tear them down is to throttle them with taxation, which is a form of bullying. And of course, the people who produce a lot are virtuous to that aspect. They are virtuous because they're able to I mean, unless they stole it themselves, but I'm talking about those who actually produce it because they created value. The fact that they can create value for others is a virtue. So they're virtuous by that aspect, and then they're compensated for that virtue. And there's those who just want to steal and grift off of that. And that is a form of bullying, of put down, right? And you'll find it so often, even in the workplace, even if it's not taxation, but in the workplace, somebody who's working hard, who's doing their best to get ahead, they're labeled as a keener and a brown noser and all kinds of things. This is a form of the same sort of mentality. It's knowing for some reason or thinking for some reason that I cannot get ahead like that person. So rather than trying to raise myself, I'm going to try to tear that person down. And that way I get to feel more on a level, right? Now, I'm going to say here that one of the reasons why so many people hate a guy like Trump is because they know. They say that he's dumb. They say that he's a ridiculous fool and a buffoon and everything. They say that. But deep down inside, they know he's not. And they know they could never be like that. Or they think they can never be like that. So rather than trying to be like that and trying to learn something from him, read his, read his book, read The Power of Positive Thinking, etc., try to take a red pill, try to take a white pill or whatever, instead of doing any of that, they just try to tear him down and create lies. And there's no, when you're trying that hard to tear somebody down and it's not working, it becomes derangement, which we see in the Trump derangement syndrome, right? And this is what communists are, this is, this is what leftists are, this is what, well, su you know, pseudonyms for the, for, for the same sort of concept, fascists and all that sort of thing. 
These are losers who, for some reason, have given up on competing. They, they either believe or know that they cannot compete with others, or they just find it easier to grift off of others, one of the two. And then they just want to graft off of that productivity. And in, in doing so, they tear that person down. They tear that person's resources away, brings them down, tries to pump themselves up with the, that ill-gotten gain, and therefore feel like they've leveled the playing field. But really, this is a return to the jungle because this is what animals in a dog-eat-dog -dog world do, basically, right? They don't... Do, animals are not... Can, don't, don't have the capacity to be virtuous. Humans... Human beings, men and women, have the capacity to be virtuous. And those who are productive, who are creating value for others, and in the, and in the process, being compensated for that, they are, by that nature, virtuous. And because humans have evolved to, some of them to be virtuous and some to grift off of, the virtue, off of that virtue, that still goes on. And... I will say it here that taxation is for losers because it's a way that losers attempt to level the playing field. Let's do our best to raise the possibility within the minds of these losers that they too can be virtuous. Steve here, great, great chatting. If you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.